Good evening. I'm WSKG's classical music director, Bill Snyder, and welcome to Love, Lies, and Laughter, a night at the opera. Over the next hour, you'll see an exciting array of performances from the talented singers of the Tri-Cities Opera. These pieces have been selected to run the emotional gamut, so be prepared to both laugh and cry. I'll also be joined by TCO's director, Susan Ashbaker. She will guide us through the program and inside the workings of Tri-Cities Opera, one of the area's longest running cultural institutions that focuses on the preservation of the art form. Without further ado, here is resident artist Abigail Rethwish performing a piece from Mozart's The Abduction from the Seraglio.
That was Emily D'Alessio with a performance from Mozart's Così Fan Tutte. More memorable pieces still to come, but first I'm joined by TCO director Susan Ashbaker, who is here to tell us a little more about her organization. Susan, can you tell us a little bit about the history, the founding, and uh, the mission of Tri-Cities Opera? Absolutely, Bill, thank you. Tri-Cities Opera is entering its 67th season. That's 67 continuous years. We were founded in 1949 by two gentlemen, Carmen Savoca and Peyton Hibbett. They had a vision to create a place that young singers could come and try out important roles, get the tools for the trade. And we continue that in our mission today. We still attract young singers here, give them opportunities. This season, we have four resident artists, and we also have a collaborative relationship that was begun in the 70s with Binghamton University with their Master of Music and Opera program. Can you give us a little preview of some of the highlights we'll be seeing tonight? Um, absolutely. We're going to give you an opportunity to meet the resident artists and the Master of Music and Opera singers through song. And they've chosen arias that are wonderful representations of their voice, and we've tried to give you a variety of styles. Here are Tri-Cities Opera's Stacey Geyer and Jake Stamatis performing a really charming duet from The Magic Flute. Oh, 
Another exceptional performance from Stacy Geyer as Love Lies and Laughter, A Night at the Opera, continues. Susan, tell me how you went about choosing the program for tonight. Well, we started by asking each of the singers what their top three choice arias would be. So once we got them, we looked through them and decided what would be the best balance for the program. We wanted to start out with Mozart because that's uh, vegetables for the voice. It's something that every young singer sings, every, every competition they are in, they're asked for their Mozart piece. So we wanted to have a healthy section of Mozart. But we also wanted to move through and decide, do we want arias, do we want duets, do we want a grand finale, which we ultimately chose in the Libiamo. And then we thought, okay, we have a bel canto set and we'll have a romantic set. And we wanted some things that were very up-tempo and some things that were slow. And that went into making the program. Tell us more about the bel canto operas. I know it encompasses operas that are very dramatic. Bel canto means beautiful singing, or it can also mean beautiful song. And it's typically associated with the composers in the mid-1800s. The three composers in bel canto style are Rossini, Bellini, and Donizetti, each one known for different things, but always with good singing. Well, our next performer will be Jordan Schreiner with a bel canto piece from Donizetti's Elixir of Love.
pretty saucy performance from La Boheme by Abigail Smith. I'm once again joined by TCO director Susan Ashbaker. Susan, I hadn't known that you were such a nifty pianist. <laughs> How did you get from piano to, to working in opera? Well, I've played piano all my life. I started at three years old, and my degrees were in piano performance. And as a graduate student, I had an assistantship in opera. And suddenly I felt like 
I had come home. It was like a hand in a glove. It was the perfect match. And so after I finished my degree, I went to Europe for several years. I worked as a coach at the Teatro am Goetheplatz in Bremen. And then I came back for another master's degree at the University of Illinois with John Wistman, who was Luciano Pavarotti's pianist. And then I started working around the world in various companies as assistant conductor, as pianist. And then when offered the opportunity to become the director of artistic and music administration at the Opera Company of Philadelphia, I accepted the challenge and thought, if I don't like it, I can always go back to playing the piano. I found I loved it. I loved the creativity involved and thought that it was the perfect match to being a pianist as well. So I've continued both trajectories and have enjoyed both pieces of my artistic life. Well, now we'll hear a gorgeous duet featuring Lindsey Brown and Stacy Geyer as a night at the opera continues.
What a tremendous hour of music, courtesy of Tri-Cities Opera. Please visit their website for more information about upcoming performances. And we would like to thank their director, Susan Ashbaker, for taking the time to join us. Thank you, Susan. You're very welcome. It was our pleasure to be here, and thank you to the WSKG team. And thank you for joining us for Love, Lies, and Laughter, a night at the opera. Now, before we leave, here's a performance of the Breen Disease from Verdi's La Traviata. Enjoy.
Oh, yeah.